Hey everybody, it's Carolyn. Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I explored Cricut fonts to add pop to your page titles. In today's video, we'll look at various text effects within Cricut Design Space that will level up your titles and other design elements on your projects. The offset feature adds a shadow or decorative outline for your design, whether text, images, or a combination. Now to use offset, you want to first add your text or images or combination to the canvas. You're going to select those images or text, and then you're going to click on offset. Use the slider that shows up to choose the amount of offset you want or you can manually enter a measurement in the box. Now the maximum offset side is one inch or 2.5 centimeters from all of the edges. You can also choose a rounded or angular corner style for your offset. I tend to stick with the rounded just because I like the softer edge, but either one looks good. Now, once you're satisfied with your offset, just click apply. And as you can see in the layers panel, you can work with each offset layer separately. And for extra fun, you can add offsets to your offsets for even more layers. If your design has several parts to it or a lot of negative space like holes in your uh, final offset image, you can remove any of those unwanted openings with contour. All you need to do is select contour in the layers panel and then select the parts that you want to remove the little open holes. The image on the canvas will update to reflect your changes. Next up, we have warp. The cool thing about warp is that it allows you to easily reshape the objects on your canvas. Choose from 30 styles to preview the effect. Use the control slider to dial in your design and watch it transform your images or text. You can warp multi-layer fonts and images and even select multiple objects and warp them simultaneously. The only thing you can't warp is a printable image for print then cut. Don't like how your warp turned out? Just simply undo to remove the effect from your design. Now we're going to talk a little bit about um, this advanced button here. I don't use that very often, but I just wanted to make you aware of it because there may be times when you will use it. So the first thing is ungroup to letters. And what that is, is when you type in text in Cricut Design Space, usually the, uh, the phrase just goes across in one line, whatever you're typing, it just it goes across in one line unless you have wrap on. If you want to manually manipulate each of those letters within that block of text, you would click ungroup to letters to break the text block into individual pieces that you can then move around. And that does come in handy, uh, especially if you really want to get um, fine tune a design that you have working. Now the other option is you can ungroup to lines that works similarly in the sense that if you have a text block of multiple lines of text, you can do the same thing by ungrouping each of those individual lines into their own text boxes so that you can tweak your design. And then the final one is ungroup to layers. And I actually did not and could not find anything about this in my initial search for how to use it. I even wrote to Cricut Help and they were like, you need to call us to be able to answer this question. And then when I found the solution, I was like, why did I need to call you? But anyway, basically all it is, is it applies to fonts with multiple layers. And what you would do is you would click on your font that is a multi-layer font and then click ungroup to layers so that you can edit each layer separately. Now I played around with a couple of fonts and I didn't really need to use ungroup to letters. It seemed to me that the fonts that I was using that were multi-layer within Cricut, uh, the Cricut library, I didn't have any issues with manipulating each of the, the different layers of that font in the layers panel. So I don't even know if ungrouped to layers is still necessary unless it's on maybe like legacy fonts. I don't know, but 
I would say you would probably use ungroup to letters and ungroup to lines more often in your designs, even, and you may not even use this tool at all, but I just wanted you to see it so that you would know how to use it in case you were interested in it. Now we come across the curve tool in design space, which allows you to easily bend your text into a circular shape. The curve tool will only work for text boxes with a single line of text. So if you have multiple lines of text that you want to curve, you're going to have to curve each of those separately. Or if you have that big block of text, then this is where ungroup to lines will come in handy. So you could break up that block of text and move those lines into individual text boxes so that you could apply the curve to it. Now, after you've done all of that, you're going to select the text and then click curve, drag the slider to the right to curve downward and to the left for an upward curve. And you'll see this outline of a circle that design space uses to determine the curvature of the text. Now the circle is not part of your design. It's just there as a way to help you visualize how your curve's gonna look. You can also manually enter a measurement to adjust the curvature size. If you've got multiple lines of text that you're trying to curve and you want them all to be on the same or all to have the same curve degree, you can manually enter the same number in the curve field. So, you know, do your initial curve and then copy the measurement uh, from the first curve and then work on the second curve and, and copy and paste that number into the box so that you will have the same uniform curve effect on all of the text that you're trying to manipulate. You can edit curve text by adjusting the letter spacing, rotating it, or even changing the font itself. The final advanced tool I want to tell you about is the weld tool. The weld tool allows you to join separate images, words, or shapes. Combine, unite creates the same results as weld, but weld is permanent and unite is not. Now to demonstrate weld, I'm going to recreate this SVG that I originally designed in Adobe Illustrator so I can show you how easy it is to do this in design space. I hope you enjoyed this review of Cricut Design Space font effects and applying these effects will really help you elevate your scrapbooking titles and other projects and help you create more sophisticated designs. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future videos like this one. And as always, happy scrapping.